Clearly, the Nigerian TV space is taking notes from the new and improved Nollywood, bringing entertaining content to millions of Nigerians weekly and sometimes even daily. Here's our list of the top seven Nigerian TV shows currently on air. Note that this list isn't based on statistics and excludes shows that are not primarily on TV or no longer active. So calm down, Tills by Moonlight Fans. At number seven, we have Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Now with sexy Frank Edoho at the helm of this Nigerian version of the original hit British series, fans are left on the edge of their seats as we all discover who becomes a millionaire overnight. At number six, we have Tinsel. Currently in its eighth season, Tinsel has proved to be one of the long-lasting Nigerian TV drama series. Set in a fictional world of Nollywood, Tinsel portrays the politics and rivalry between two competing film studios vying for superiority. You want to know why I never had a child, mother? Oh, please enlighten me. Because I don't ever want to go through this with any child of my own. Get this guys, Tinsel is also known as one of the most expensive Nigerian TV series as it is rumored to cost about $900 for one minute of production and averages an annual budget of 1 billion naira. Now with numbers like this, it's not hard to see why the show remains on air, although with reduced relevance in recent times. But with the latest addition of music and comedic superstar Files, things might be looking up for the Tinsel show. At number 5, we have Robin Mines. Now this could be Nigeria's very own version of Larry King Live, as top TV personality Ebuka channels his own brand of pseudo-interrogative interviewing skills as he tackles politicians, celebrities, and likes in between with hard-hitting questions. My point here being that there's Excuse no monopoly me. of the ABC supporters who are not short. I am from Buguma. Listen. At number four comes Sugar, which manages to make HIV look not so bad. I know, right? Conceptualized and founded by the MTV Stay in Alive Foundation, the Bill and Melody Gates Foundation, and UNICEF, Sugar is a drama-filled story designed to educate the young African demo about HIV AIDS prevention and more. Unprotected sex. Okay, the first thing you need to do is get tested. See, eh, I, I know about testing and I know about the three month window period, but like, it was just once now. It's not that bad, Jay. See, once is enough. <sighs> Damn you, Sheila. And maybe you should tell Sheila to go for a test too. No, her name is not Sheila. Sheila is somebody I like, but I found out she's dating somebody else. Sorry, is this Toby? Who is this? Toby, this is Sophie. Are you crazy? Sophie? Now, I must admit, some of the storylines are quite fucked up, but with actors like Timini and Dorcas, fans are able to enjoy the show without overly cringing. At number three, we have Hush. Now, there are three letters that get the attention of most Nigerian women. RMD. So you can imagine the disaster when Africa Magic announced the introduction of Nigeria's own Judge Clooney to the small screen in April. If you go knock on people's doors or kick them down, take it off. Take it off or I will. Now, Hush revolves around a world of fashion and politics with just a little hint of Illuminati type cultism in the city of Lagos. Confusing, right? Plus, with actors like Ade Laoye, Meg Otanwa, and Maoli Gabo, the show definitely doesn't lack in the sex appeal department. At number two, we have The Voice, which is arguably one of the biggest talent show competition franchises in the world, known for its high level of production and general high quality contestant. So you can imagine how exciting it was when it was announced that The Voice was coming to Nigeria. With mentors like Timmy Dakolo, Pato Rankin, Waje, and Two-Faced Idibia, contestants are split into groups and eliminated until the last man or woman is standing. Now a few honorable mentions. Factorize 4x squared minus 9y squared. A, 2x plus 3y, 2x minus 3y, 2x plus 3y, 2x plus 3y. Now we stop for 
relationship with this one? What do you mean? Which kind of relationship with this one? Do you like PDA? Of course. Uh, uh, I, I used to say no, but then I met the one. That ah, was very PDA ish. The one. But he's sweet, sir. PDA you know, is sweet, man. He's sweet. Because when you're. I when love you're levels. Yeah. There's levels to it, though. At number one, we have Jennifer's Diary. Now, Funke Akindele has proven to be a genius as she manages to make Raz the new core. Why are you wearing my clothes? I said, why, why are you wearing, wearing my clothes? Poka. <laughs> Poka. Following the successful portrayal of the extremely local, yet aspiring Ajibo character on the big screen, she has seen this character take a life of its own on the small screen as well. Jennifer is now a household name and is known to be one of the most watched and pirated Nigerian TV shows. Also, with superstars like Fowls on a Recurring Wall, this show has won multiple accolades from various award shows as it brings laughter to millions of people in and out of Nigeria. For more videos, subscribe to Aristocrat TV. Also, don't forget to follow us on our social media platforms at Aristocrat TV and follow me at Khadija Zala. Thank you and bye.